Hey guys, Kev here, and I have a package to unbox. This one comes from Dave Warren over at Tuya Knives. So I have the uh, James Brand Ellis Slim I just unboxed, if you saw that. Um, I don't know if this is for sale yet, but I will link what I can down below. Use my code LEFTYEDC at the James Brand for 10% off. Let's see how the uh, 12C... 14 12 c 14 12 c 27 cuts cuts well got that slip joint walk and talk and here we go this is going to be the tuya uh, nv4 and this is the newest upgraded version apparently in fat carbon which is really cool i did not get to check out the original nv4 um, by the time I reached out to Dave, they had already basically sold through them and he was like, but I'll, uh, I'll send you one of these when they come in. I was like, sweet. Um, I've heard a lot of good things. I have briefly handled one of these at my buddy Brent's house, Backpack B. Check out his channel. Shout out to B. Um, it comes in the Pelican style to your case, no markings at all to your knife card. I believe this was designed by Dave Warren. So here's his card. Definitely hit him up if you want to get one of these. You can go over to tuyaknifeus.com, pretty sure. I'll link it down below, obviously. Um, and he told me this is in the all, all sexy purple fat carbon. And I agree, that is probably the all around best fat carbon the purple um and i agree it looks sexy as fudge um now i will admit right away that um it has a, the the like white dots in the camp fat carbon that happens sometimes it's a little annoying when that happens but um i'm not complaining i'm just saying it's there looking at another knife here this has white in it so it's hard to tell um, this is a beautiful looking knife. I love the finish on the uh, titanium. Just a nice bead blast. That inlay is perfectly uh, cut in. I love when it uh, sits around the screws like that. It just makes it look a little more premium. Like they actually cut around, you know. You have another inlay on this side that looks really good. Now this is a frame lock. So being left handed, this could be a tricky one for me. Um, the clip feels pretty tight, which is usually a good thing. It says DW4, so uh, Dave Warren 4. Um, let's see. We have a little bit of detent play. So you can see that. Let me see if I can feel it when I do this. Yeah, a little bit. So that's unfortunate. I'm not a big fan of detent play but um, or lash. Um, the studs are interesting. Got these kind of geared studs. Not geared, but they have like three layers to them. If you can see that. Seen them on Riots before. So let's... Okay, fires out really nice. Um, oh yeah, ergos are really good on this. Very comfortable. And then you have a sort of choil up here as well. It's a very small area, but you can choke up on it if you want. Um, nice flat spine up here. And then here's your blade. You got, oh, a beautiful belt set. And wow, wow, that is well done. It's got a nice gritty feel too. I love that. And then you have a swedge with it as well. Oh, and then you have the uh, hand satin flats. Whoo. Yeah, that's a sexy blade right there, guys. Um, I'm a little afraid of the action. There's no lock stick or anything. Lock bar just slides right out of the way. yeah oh yeah i could see this being a righty's wet dream no up and down nothing so that lock bar is just perfectly dialed um centering is dead nuts let's try lefty it's probably not gonna work oh shit comfortable in hand very good lock bar access oh lefty thumb flick oh this is just nice just nice Yeah, hopefully I can just tune out that little bit of detail. You know, it's hard, though. It really is. But there could be some schmutz or oil. There is a lot of oil in there. Hopefully it's just some kind of oil or something. There's oil all up on this, John. Some companies overdo it. 
We'll see if that fixes it. I'll, I'll probably do a disassembly then to show you guys, but yeah, that's my one gripe is this. I just can't, like it's a mental thing. It's not really though, um, I don't feel it too much, just a little bit if I do that. So you know what, it's fine because it's a thumb stud knife. So I'm not feeling it when I flick it. Right, like I go to push, I'm not feeling any wiggle. When it's annoying is, do I have a flipper? No, I don't have a flipper knife here. When you have a flipper knife and you're on the flipper tab and you can feel that play bouncing up and down as you as you jiggle the flipper tab, that's annoying. Uh, this, I don't feel it at all unless I do this, which that's kind of stupid, I guess, for me to do. So I'm gonna shut up about it, it's fine. Uh, Feels really good in the hand, it does. Um, and it's gorgeous, guys, look at this thing. Beautiful Warren Cliff blade, it's a really good size. Um, I guess it's around three and a half inches. I mean, look at that action out of the box. Yeah. I mean, I don't know what else to say about that. Um, the lock bar up here is a little bit sharp, but that's kind of how most knives are, to be honest. Um, yeah, that's just how that, you know, unless you get even like super high end stuff, a lot of times has a sharp lock bar because it's just a tiny bit. You're not going to feel it in hand or anything. So it's a kind of, um, an extra step maybe that's, you know, annoying for companies. I don't know why it's not more, um, readily taken care of, but hey, um, there's no milling inside, but you have the inlay. So there's, there's no, it does not feel heavy at all. Um, closed, it looks good. I mean, I like how they kept it pretty straight. I mean, a lot of times with a knife with this blade shape, you have a hump, right? And while this has a hump, it's not aggressive, right? They dip down this area and it, I don't know, it just works really well. Nice lanyard post back there. Look at that. Um, what's the steel on this puppy? S90V. S90V. All right. Yeah, this is, this is really good, Dave. Um, shit. Now I know what all the hype was about. This thing is fire. Really digging this. Lefty flick, too, is... Oh, there, I got myself that time. So if I just stay down here, it's fine. If I climb up too far, can't show you really, but um, if I keep my finger below like this line right here, I can flick it lefty. But if I'm up here resting on it, it locks it up. So as long as I'm like pretty normal grip, you know, it's fine. Um, end of the clip pokey, no, nice and rounded. It is a flat clip, but you don't feel it in hand or anything. Let me see how the clip is. Yeah, got over my thick seam and my regular seam, no problem. And it's got good retention. Uh, the tip is nice and buried in there, which is good to see. Um, yeah, I don't know what else to tell you guys. This is really good. And I bet you the price point is silly too. Um, Tuya does some, some really good stuff for uh, good pricing. I bet you it's around $200. Um, in S90B, a titanium, belt satin, fat carbon, all that stuff. And I bet you it's around 200 bucks, but I could be wrong. I could be wrong. Could be more. And if it is fine. I mean, if it's 250 ish or less, um, that's fantastic. If it's 300, that's probably, that's like what it's worth. You know what I mean? So, um, yeah, let me know what you guys think down below. I think this one's really sweet. I really appreciate Dave for sending this out to me. Thank you, dude. Um, yeah, the one, the one gripe I had is the, uh, the detent play and it really doesn't play a part when you're actuating the knife. And I might be able to get it out by just cleaning the, uh, detent hole and the detent ball. Um, uh, we'll see. But, you know, um, if it doesn't bother me, most people I think will be fine. 
Um, and then there's just that one little uh, sharp corner right here inside of the lock bar that you don't ever touch. So, and you could just knock that off with something if you wanted to. The blade is, I mean, feels nice and thin. I mean, it's, it's probably like 18 thousandths behind the edge with my, my hand calipers. Um, and nice long warning. I mean, this thing is gonna, I mean, it's gonna do a lot of nice work for utility cutting and stuff like that. Um, yeah, this is a home run, Dave. This is a home run. Great job, dude. Great job, dude. Um, so, yeah. I will probably do a tabletop uh, overview of this, whether it be a, a rapid review or just a dedicated one. You might see a disassembly. Um, just see what we're rocking in there, bearings-wise, and see what I can do about the detent lash thing. Um Oh, it's number 64. There's a number down in here in the backspacer. You probably can't see it, but number 64. Um, and then I think what I'll do is see if uh, some other folks want to check this out. Um, I have a pass around group basically that I run at this point because there's like 20 knives in it or 40. Um, so maybe I'll add this in there. Whenever a company sends me something, um, I like to do that just because I feel like they should be rewarded for, I don't know, for sending shit out. Does that make sense? I mean, obviously my video is, is what they're looking for. Um, and my feedback, a lot of times companies are looking for that. Some, some companies just want you to promote their shit to you is not one of those. Um, Dave's a good dude. Uh, I always enjoy meeting up with him at blade show uh, this feels really good in the uh friday night gas station e -e uh grip so if your slurpee's in trouble having the this sexy two you four on you is a good idea um but yeah i'll probably pass it around so you shall see this knife again i am sure um thank you guys for checking it out thank you dave uh you got a home run on your hands here buddy um, I love you guys. I hope you have a fantastic day and I will catch you later.